And now here again is our guest, Dr. Cynthia Campbell. Cynthia, the women, bewildered, trembling, fled the tomb, said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. What kind of fear was that, that, that allows us to know that it's not the end of the story? Mm. Well, whatever happened had to be uh, an incredibly powerful experience. Um, and the women are so critical to this story. They are the ones who, who stayed with Jesus through the dying. Uh, they are the ones who, who were there, at, as women often are, mm -hmm. uh, in families at times of tragedy. Um, and then, as is the custom, and probably is the custom in many families still, it's their job to, to care for the body and make sure it's, it's ready. And, and there would have been a ritual of, of putting spices and wrapping and cleaning a body before burial, which could not have happened on Friday night because it was the beginning of the Jewish Sabbath. So now we're at Sunday morning. We're at um, the, third, the third day. Um, after the, the Paso, after the Sabbath is over. And so now they've come back and, and they're numb with grief. And, and then to have someone say, he's not here. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fear that is um, uh, of amazement and incredulity. Are they crazy? Um, is this a plot? Um, awesome, mysterious. Yeah, yeah. It said the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Yeah. And we're reminded that we should not dwell on the suffering and death with fear that mm -hmm. um, uh, to be able to do things for others and not be reminded of the pain that, that those kinds of things might cause is to understand Easter. Mm. Uh, so that that part of the love of God embodied in the person of Jesus remains untouched by death. Yes, but uh, I think a, a powerful word by a, a contemporary theologian, uh, Jorgen Moltmann, is to say that, that he asks the question, where does the cross happen and for God? And his answer is, the cross of Christ happens deep in the heart of God. That God is wrapped up in that suffering. And so that God has not only known the joy of human life, but has known the most profound pain and abandonment as well. In 30 seconds, Cynthia, can we get past the sympathy for the crucified cross? Christ and on to loyalty to the resurrected Christ? Absolutely. It's precisely that power of God that has triumphed over pain. And it is that knowledge that nothing in life or death can separate us from that love so, that keeps us going. So in the story, the question is, what's next? Right. Thank you, Dr. Cynthia Campbell.